Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Infusion, and today I'm gonna to be giving you three quick tips on how to make any animation smoother in After Effects. We're gonna take your graphics from looking like this to something way smoother like this. Let's jump right in. So in our first scenario here, we have a ball that's bouncing around the frame. And if you're newer to animating, you've probably run into this problem before where you're moving this object along a path and it's moving at different speeds in between each keyframe. And even though I spaced my keyframes evenly, you can see that there's one second in between each keyframe here. So animation's still super jumpy and there's a really easy way to solve this. So if we just go ahead and select all of our keyframes here, we can right click on them here and then this option right here that says rove across time. If we just select that, you'll see that After Effects actually shifts our keyframes around within the timeline. So now you can see when I play back the animation, the ball is way smoother. This is a super helpful tip to remember if you ever need to move an object across a path or across the frame, but you need it to stop at several points within that. So you can use that rove across time and After Effects will automatically space the keyframes where they need to be to make the animation smooth. Now the second thing that could help our animation here is actually using Easy Ease keyframes. And this is the number one thing that I see beginner animators not doing and it really shows. And it's actually one of the easiest things we can do. So in the same animation, let's select all of our keyframes here again. And I'm just gonna press F9 on my keyboard. When I do that, you'll actually see that these keyframes change to a different shape, and that indicates that our keyframes are now easy eased. And when I play back the animation, it already looks way smoother here. You may be asking, what is easy ease actually doing here? And to put it simply, it's easing in and out of keyframes. I know that's the name of it, so it's kind of obvious, but if I put them side by side here, you'll see that in the one that we don't have easy ease, it's just a very hard, sterile cut between those keyframes versus the one that does have easy ease, it's gliding in and out of the keyframes and making the whole thing a lot smoother. When you're new to animation, I definitely recommend at least putting easy ease on your keyframes as it makes everything look more realistic. But this takes me to the third tip, which is actually using the graph editor to really take control over your keyframes and how your effects look. Here I have this logo and text animation, and it doesn't look bad by any means, but it is very sterile and snappy, which is kind of what I see from beginner animators as well, is not using easy ease. And you can kind of see my keyframes here. We're not using easy ease on them because Again, they kind of look a little bit different and you can kind of tell when they're easy eased. So let's just start with this animation by putting easy ease on all of our keyframes here. So let's, let's see here. We have a logo here that kind of zooms in. So we have two keyframes right here for our logo layer. So I can just select both of those keyframes and again, press F9 on my keyboard. And now let's play that back. And you can see that that scale animation is already way smoother here. Um, and then if I look at this black background here, I have this black bar that kind of scales in here. And then to close out the animation, I have it scaling all the way down to cut off the text. So let's go ahead and select all of these keyframes right here. And again, just press F9 on my keyboard. And then I also have another layer here, these two text layers here that kind of just pop up here. And those keyframes are actually within this pre-composition here. So right here, you can see that those two keyframes are actually controlling that. So yeah, if I just select those keyframes here and hit F9 on my keyboard, and then come back to my main comp and open up text one, do the same thing. Now, all of our keyframes within this animation are easy ease, and now we can watch it back and see how much smoother it is already. And again, this is why I say to at least start with easy ease because you can see this animation is already way smoother. But with the graph editor, there's a couple of things we can actually do to make it kind of more stylistic how we want it. So let's start with our logo file here. If I just select both of these keyframes, the ones we just easy eased, and actually click this icon right here, this will open up our graph editor. Now this is where a lot of people stop and get freaked out because they don't know what they're looking at, but it's actually really simple once you kind of know what you're looking for. So this is actually what's called the value graph, but I like to work in the speed graph most of the time, depending on the scenario. So if we just right click anywhere within this graph and click on speed graph, we'll see a curve here. The curve is just a representation of how fast the object is moving or the animation is going in between those two keyframes. So you see here that it actually starts slow because we easy ease that keyframe and then it kind of speeds up here in the middle and then it kind of goes back down to slow. And that's what easy ease means. You're actually easing out of this keyframe and easing back into this keyframe. But let's say that I wanted it to start fast and then kind of ramp down and go slow. If I just select the second keyframe here and move this little yellow handle, I'll just move this little handle all the way to the left here. You can see now that the animation starts a lot faster and kind of builds up to that fastest peak here and then goes over the hump and starts slowing down and creates a smooth ramp here. So let's just go ahead and play this back and you'll kind of see what I mean. 
So the, the logo flies in really quick here, but then it slows down really quick as well. So it kind of ramps in. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how that logo flies in right there. So let's go ahead and move on to our text here. We've already easy eased it, so it's pretty smooth. But if we just jump into text one here, select both of these keyframes and open up my graph editor, I can do something similar that I did with the logo file. I'll just select the second keyframe here and I'll just move it to the left a little bit. And let's just go ahead and play that back and see what that looks like. So I like how that kind of like slides in, but it's pretty snappy at the beginning, but then kind of ramps down and is smooth towards the end of that animation. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with text two here. Select both of our keyframes and select the second keyframe in the graph editor and move that to about there. And we can go back to our main composition and see how that looks. Yeah, I really like that text animation, how that kind of snaps in, but it's still smooth there. So now the last thing would be to just kind of look at these black bars. As you can see here, this, this black background is kind of scaling in. So it starts from completely black and then it kind of adds those white bars in. And then at the end of the animation, it kind of fully closes like that. So I'm gonna select all these keyframes right here and just click on my graph editor. So now this is a good example of where I'd wanna use my value graph. So I'm gonna to switch to value graph here. And that's because I'm only affecting one value that's linked, so scale. So you can see this green line is actually representing my scale Y and this red line is representing my scale X. So if I was in the speed graph, it's all kind of combined and joined, but I'm gonna switch over to my value graph here. This is actually showing me what my scale Y is doing over the course of my timeline here. So with these points right here, these are all my keyframes, these little yellow dots again. And because they're on the green line, I'm just going to be adjusting my scale Y, which is exactly what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna grab this little yellow handle and drag it to the left to make this uh, part even smoother here. And you can see I'm adjusting this little curve right here. So if this, the smoother this is, the smoother the animation is gonna be. Um, versus right here, you kind of have a harder curve and that'll mean it's actually a little bit faster of an animation. So as I do that though, um, you'll see if I undo that, I can actually move my handle around and you gotta be careful with that because you don't want the animation kind of jumping around. But if I hold down shift as I click and drag, it'll lock it onto that line so that it can't actually go up or down. So I, I'll hold down shift and drag it to the left here uh, just to smooth out that curve. And then I'll come over to this one and I'm just gonna drag this one this way to smooth it out like that. Well, again, holding shift so that it doesn't move up and down. And let's go ahead and watch that back. And as you can see here, if I play the before and after side by side, you'll see exactly how much smoother this animation is. And that's due to the graph editor. We're really being stylistic with our curves and editing those keyframes. And all of this is kind of up to preference and personal choice. However, the graph editor just gives you a lot more control when it comes to adjusting the timing of your keyframes versus easy easing, just kind of smooths everything out to make everything look better if you don't want to jump into the graph editor just yet. Now, a little bonus tip here, if you want to kind of just tie all of your animations together to making them look smooth, I like to use motion blur depending on the project. Um, if we click on this icon right here, we'll actually enable motion blur for this composition. And then I can just select under each layer here, this icon right here, we can select and turn on motion blur for all of these layers. And if we just go ahead and play that back, you'll see that it kind of gives it an even more lifelike feel. So those are my top three tips for smoother animations inside of After Effects. Let me know what you think and if it was helpful down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time, guys, peace out.